Hi everyone, this is the third part of the Dewdrop Baby Tutorial, Embroidering the Face. The materials I'm going to be using for this part are embroidery thread in eye and eyelash color, doll making needle size 3, embroidery needle, measuring tape, pins, erasable fabric marker, strong thread in a color that is close to the eye color, pliers or hemostats, scraps of doll skin for blushing and beeswax crayon for blushing as well. Now let's start by placing a pin at the center of the face over the eye line. Now with your measuring tape you will decide how far or close you will like your eyes to be to that pin at the center. Place one pin on each side where you would like each eye to be and make sure they are at the same distance from the center pin. With your erasable marker, circle the pin marking the contour of the pin on the fabric. Do this with both eyes. You can now take the pins out. With a strong string or even the six strands of your eye color embroidery floss, thread your doll making needle, insert it at the center of the eye mark and come out the back of the head. Get the needle out of the thread, making sure you leave a long tail on both sides. Re-thread the needle with the thread at the front of the head and reinsert it a couple of threads over from where you inserted the first time. Come out the back, try to be as close to the previous thread as you can. Pull tight with both ends of the thread to make the eye socket and then make three knots with both ends and hide the threads inside the head. Repeat all that process on the other side. Thread your embroidery needle with two strands of the eye color embroidery floss you chose and make a knot on one side. Insert the needle at the back of the head. Do it at the same height of the eye and come out at the center of the eye in the front. Make some stitches vertically to cover the eye, um, following the circular guide we marked before with our erasable fabric marker. These vertical stitches are going to be covered. They're just here to maintain the shape of the eye.
make sure you finished at one of the lower corners of the eye and then we're going to start covering the eye with horizontal satin stitches. Once you get to the top of the eye, let the excess thread hanging and repeat the process on the other eye. A lot of doll makers prefer to make both eyes at the same time, stitch by stitch. For some reason, that makes no difference um, when I make the eyes. Maybe I need more practice, maybe it's just that it hasn't clicked for me. But I have made the experiment many times and I get the same non-perfectly symmetrical eyes either way and I'm totally okay with that. Before getting that last thread to the back and securing it, I like to check if the eyes are the same height. I just get one of the threads and I extend it to the other side making sure it looks straight over both of the eyes. Thread your needle with the embroidery thread, take that last stitch but come out the back of the head. This time make a knot to secure the thread and hide it inside the head.
repeat on the other eye. This part is really optional but I like it because it gives the doll more expression. To make an eyelash I like to mark it first with my erasable fabric marker. Thread a needle with just one strand of the embroidery thread in the eyelash color you chose. I chose brown for this one. Insert the thread at the end of the eyelash and come out the back. Take the needle out of the thread. Make sure you leave a long tail on both sides and re-thread the needle with the end of the thread that is coming out of the front of the head. Reinsert the needle at the other side of the eyelash and come out the back of the head, trying to come out as close to the other end of the thread that is already at the back. Don't really pull the threads because you don't want the eyelash to sink in the fabric. Carefully make three knots with both ends and hide the threads inside of the head. If it's necessary, you can adjust the eyelash with the blunt end of your needle. Now you can blush the head with your favorite technique. I use the beeswax crayon technique as you can see in here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial and I'll see you next week with part 4.